now we meet chapter 5, numerical solution of ordinary differential equations. In this chapter, we'll begin with elementary theory of initial value problems. Uh, there, we'll discuss existence and uniqueness of the solution. For numerical techniques, Taylor series methods, logical method, and multi-step uh, method will be um, considered. Then we uh, study systems of different solutions and their solutions. At the end of the chapter, we uh, consider implicit methods and techniques for implicit differential equations. Let's go to section 5.1. Elementary theory of initial value problems. The first order initial value problem is formulated as follows. We'll try to find yi, i is from 1 to m, just m uh, functions satisfying uh, these equations. For each yi, uh, we have a differential equation, and for each yi, we have initial value. There are m equations and m uh, unknowns, the unknown functions to solve. Okay. Um, once m is 1, then we can write in this way dy over dx is f of xy, and for y and x0. The initial value is y0. And in most cases, we'll assume that uh, the system of equation admits a unique solution in a neighborhood of x0. Now, for uh, this problem, we can prove the uh, existence and uniqueness of the solution. Here, r is a strip. In x direction, uh, here x is from a to b, and y direction is tall uh, strip minus infinity to infinity. Assume f is continuous on R, and x zero is inside this interval, and also we assume f satisfies a Lipschitz condition in the variable y, that means uh, there is constant error, positive, such that uh, for arbitrary choice of y1 and y2, the distance, uh, the function value distance is bounded by L times y1 minus y2. These conditions are satisfied then the initial value problem along with m is 1 has unique solution in an interval i. i is a sub-interval of original interval, of course, including x0. That's the theory. So existence and uniqueness is guaranteed only in a local interval, small area. However, once uh, these conditions are satisfied uh, of, uh, for all uh, the domain A to B, then eventually we can say that the solution exists uniquely over the whole domain. Okay. Now, um, once um, F uh, is def defined on R, and here the derivative with respect to Y of F is bounded by L, and once it's differentiable uh, in the variable y, and the magnitude is bounded L, then that condition will be automatically satisfied. So the here then, F satisfies the Lipschitz condition on R in the uh, variable y with the same Lipschitz constant L. That is quite easy uh, result. Okay. 
Let's see this example. Prove that the initial value problem has a unique uh, solution on the interval minus 1 to 2. Okay, for this problem, now here f is continuous and over the whole um, uh, interval and if we uh, punch the, the vertical uh, slab minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to I mean 2 here, then R will be made uh, here in infinite uh, vertical region. There's R. Then, now, this value is always between minus 1 to 1. X is between minus 1 to 2, so that this is bounded, and also we know this is continuous. And here, now, for that one, here, F Y derivative, f sub y, that is the same as twice of x plus sine y, and here uh, cosine y, right? Uh, so that uh, if we measure the magnitude, then uh, that will be, okay, this value is always bounded by 1 in modulus, so that that is now here, 2, and then that is between uh, minus 1 to 2, and the value is between minus 1 to 1, the maximum possible value is that is 2 and that is 1, so that this is a 3, and of course that is bounded by 1. So that that is bounded by here 6, so we have L here, uh, this 6 is played the role of L. So that from the theorem, uh, we guarantee that this equation has um, a unique solution. Okay? Now show that each of the initial value problems has a unique solution and find the solution. Okay, let's try to here uh, solve this one only here. Now again, f of x, y that is continuous over uh, 3 to 5 and here x0, the 30 years are in the interval and now also here if we try to get f sub y, y derivative then that is 1 plus x squared that is now bounded by here that is 25 plus 1 so that 26 so um, uh, that has a um, unique solution. Of course, over whole domain, but a theory says that around the three, a uh, unique solution exists. But uh, these conditions are everywhere over the interval satisfied, so that we can say that uh, mm -hmm. the problem admits a unique solution over the uh, whole interval, okay? So that existence and uniqueness is done, okay? Now we'll try to find a um, solution. This one, also that one, is a separable equation. Uh, here, y prime is dy over dx. So once it is separable, then one variable on one side and another variable to the other side. So that the given equation can be written dy and divided by y so that we have a dy over y is the same as now here 1 plus x squared dx. Now we can integrate then here logarithm of y now uh, equal left hand side and right hand side that is same as x plus one third of x cubed m plus c. Okay, we apply exponential function, then y absolute value is same as e to the x plus one third x cubed plus c. e to the c, for e to the c, we use um, again uh, c and then and e to the 
x plus and one third of x cubed. Now we eliminate the absolute sign so that that will be plus minus c. Again, we are using uh, the constant notation. So the c e to the um, x plus here one third of x cubed. Now we have to decide the c by using the initial condition. So at x3, the value is 1. So here 1 equals c e to the at x3, 3 plus. There is now uh, here 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So that c times e to the 12. From here, we can get c is e to the minus 12. Okay. So uh, finally, we can get uh, the solution y equal here, okay, 1 over e to the 12, and then uh, e to the x plus 1 third x cubed. Or you may put that over there, minus 2, rather than that one, okay, minus 12. Okay, uh, that's the uh, analytic solution for this problem. By using uh, the software Maple, and we define the differential equation and initial condition, the pair, in differential equation and pair, for this pair, we try to get uh, y of x by using the built-in function dissolve, then we get uh, that uh, result. That is the same as here, that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, um, for numerical solution, uh, in the following, we'll describe step-by-step um, -step methods for the one variable equation. The equation 5.2 is uh, just uh, this one, just uh, one variable. Okay. Now, and step by step uh, means here, in the first step, we uh, try to compute y1 as an approximation of y at x1. And here, h is now a uh, step size, so that x1 will be here x0 plus h. And in the second step, also we'll try to get the y sub 2. Uh, that is, again, approximation of, okay, that is an uh, approximation of y at x2. x2 is now x0 plus 2h. In this way, uh, we try to get the numerical solution in one step at a time. So from uh, at x0 and y0, the value is given, and x1, we try to get uh, y1 as an approximation of y at x1. And by using that again, we try to get y sub 2 and so on. So here we uh, first consider Taylor series methods, and then uh, we we'll try to uh, study longitudinal method and multi-step method. Even though we develop the method for the one equation, the simplest one, and these techniques can be applicable for uh, the the system of equations very easily. Okay. This is the end of the section. Thank you.